takes a lot of water. Can you believe these candle lilies started as one stalk last year? Given to me by a neighbor. Now look at them. One stalk between all of this. I don't know what I feel about that. My bamboo started as one stalk. Falling for the same old trick again. I didn't think the bamboo was going to be wicked. Because it seems so pretty. And the candle lily has a flower on top of it. That's a pretty clever disguise itself. So it doesn't look like it could cause any trouble either. But I don't know how to read intentions very well. It's kind of why I am the way I am. Like, there's this hazy kinked up. Fuck me. Get what you pay for them, right? Cheap pose. That's ginger. I don't know what this is. It's cheap. Ginger. Another cheapy. Another fucker. Grass takes a lot of water. Fuck me! And you know what? I always said grass didn't take as much water. Because it grows. It seems to be everywhere. So you would think it would be like evil. Like evolution. Like resilient. Grass is just so ordinary. See, doesn't the canna lily appear to be something that would take a lot of water? Because it's so pretty. But it's the, it's the very prettiness of it that fools you. You can starve the canna lily of water. And it'll still grow. But this grass right here has been here for three years. And only until I started manually watering it did it start to grow. Can't remember what this bush is called, but this is another one that takes quite a bit of water. Now, that right there is a, what do you call it? You guys know what it's called. I think it's like a cactus family. I don't think that's what I'm Did I ever tell you that I think I got the new show? Banana. Got like a sapling of it. Okay. Stop. Oh. That's lettuce, actually. I grew that from seeds, and it's already well post germinated 
I started that maybe two weeks ago. I think this is a dolly. I think that's another agave. I think that's another agave. That is another plant that doesn't need water. Yet it's beautiful. You would think it needs water. That is wisteria. And wisteria is another invasive plant that will grow, 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 and grow. Even if you start a bit of water. But look at this poor beautiful flower right here. It doesn't seem innocent yet. You can never be never like uh, judge a book by its cover because it needs a lot of water now to my credit this is a retransplanted flower that I grew in another part of my yard and kind of put it in this new bed that I have fashioned here but it's not taking very well god I hate it growing it's really pretty I hate seeing plants die I hate taking anyway that is disgusting. Okay, back there. It's hard to zoom in and um, do the food at the same time. But that's actually corn going back there. Why the hell would I put corn in a tropical... Oh, there's lettuce in there too. Why would I put corn in like a tropical bed? Because I think corn looks tropical for some reason. I have no idea why, but a lot of times, um, well, oh, this is actually a Thai corn. It looks like an agave, but it's not an agave. It's a Thai corn. Some Thai lady gave it to me recently. Oh, the corn. For some reason I just can't get it in my head what corn looks like when it's mature because every time I'm in somebody's garden, I marvel at the corn. Unless I see like corn cobs on it. I'm like, what is that? It's beautiful. They're like, it's corn. I don't know. To my mind, it looks like something you would see on a, I don't know, like a trail in Maui. Scattered among the um, bamboo wood chimes, thin chimes, wood chimes. That was actually what lured me into planting bamboo. Was I was walking on a trail in Maui, like in the nineties, and um, I like kind of finally uh, became mindful enough to realize that I heard angels singing. Well, so to speak, um, the bamboo was knocking together and basically creating a chorus. What is that damn plant called? Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. It's the same, that's the same other one that I said, like a cactus thing. It's one of those on the tip of my tongue type of deals. I can't remember the name of it. This stuff grows really good. This is Mexican Petunia. Remember, this is a new bed right here. This is one I just started. I literally loaded all of this dirt. How many tons of dirt here? Because I compost and, um, oh, that's a cantaloupe growing right there. I think that might be lettuce again. Oh, Mexican petunia? That's what Mexican petunia looks like when it's just... This is what Mexican petunia looks like when it's motherfucker. When it's dead. Sometimes, this blows me away, but... Shit will grow. Like, you take one of these sticks off of Mexican petunia, just literally just pick it right off a branch, pluck it in the ground and water that thing and it'll propagate. It will become a legit pot 
galaxy of itself. <sighs> God, I feel weird today. It's cooler today. Which is nice. That... I don't know what it is. Something I grew from... I labeled my seeds, but then... <laughs> I'm like, um, you know, I'm like artsy and stuff. I used to label me.